you you can't tell me that the Browns don't continuously go all out for Baker Mayfield. Like you can say a lot of stuff about Cleveland. You can say a lot of stuff about the team, but they continue continue to make sure that Baker is provided with adequate weapons all around. There has been Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt. Uh, they're keeping David Njoku now. They put the franchise tag on him. They gave him Austin Hooper. Um, obviously, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, Jarvis Landry. And now with Odell departing, Jarvis Landry, he may be on an altitude. We'll see what happens with that. Now they are trading for Amari Cooper from the Dallas Cowboys. Initially, the Dallas Cowboys did this one slick, and this is what some teams do, uh, and it's part of business. Initially, the Dallas Cowboys, they put out the reports, all right, Dallas is expected to release Amari Cooper due to salary cap reasons. It's like, okay, cool, cool, but you didn't hear any official release. So we were all waiting, like, okay, well, is he going to hit the free agent market? Uh, let's see what happens. And it was nothing. So then, and what teams do, They put that, that's for them to put out fillers. That's for them to put out fillers to the league, like, all right, Let's see if somebody hits us up because they know we're going to release him. Let's see if we can get something for him. He's not going to be with us, so let's try to get at least something for him. And let's see if any teams bite. So apparently, Cleveland, they bit. Uh, a report actually came out yesterday, and I guess that report was justified by this. A report came out yesterday that, that the Cleveland Browns were interested in one Amari Cooper. So, yeah, you see that interest turn into something real. But let's look at the details of this trade. So, it says... Uh, the Cowboys are finalizing a trade to send wide receiver Amari Cooper and a six-round pick. So Cowboys are giving up Amari Cooper and a six-round pick to Cleveland for a 2022 fifth and sixth-round pick. So Cleveland has given up a fifth and a six, but the Cowboys are giving up Amari Cooper and a six. Uh, and I know initially um, some people might be like, oh, man, that's so cheap. That is so cheap. Like, they're pretty much giving Amari Cooper away. Well, it was one of those situations to where... The Cowboys, they were going to get rid of Amari Cooper regardless. So instead of just releasing him for free, it's like, all right, well, we might as well get something for him. If we can get something, let, let's, let's take what we can get. Because the Browns are going to take on that salary cap. And I believe he gets, he gets like 20 mil this year, something around there. Uh, but the Browns, they're going to eat that salary cap. They're going to eat that contract. Um, and the, the Cowboys, they get rid of the receiver that they were going to get rid of regardless. Uh, so good for the Browns. Um, Amari Cooper, fresh start. I hope it doesn't. I hope he does not end up like Odell Beckham. <laughs> I hope we don't end up like Odell Beckham Jr. Man, because um, yeah, we um, we all know the story and how that went. Um, but this this is good. You get a, a speedy wide receiver. You get a good route runner receiver who um got some good hands. Uh, one thing about Amari Cooper. Um, he is known to sort of disappear to where he can have a couple of nice games in a row. Then all of a sudden he can get a little quiet, get a little quiet a little bit. But hey, Cleveland, they always provide so many weapons to Baker Mayfield that, hey, if, if it becomes where Amari Cooper ends up disappearing, they got a lot of other weapons that they can go to um, besides Amari Cooper. So we'll see how this thing works itself out. Now, I'm very interested to see what happens with Juice. What happens with Jarvis Landry? Because um, that, that could be big right there. Because for the longest, it's always been Jarvis Landry and somebody else. More recently, Odell Beckham Jr. And for right now, it's Jarvis Landry and uh, Amari Cooper. But is it going to continue to be Jarvis Landry um, and Amari Cooper? So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see what happens next. But imagine this. Think about this. Free agency hasn't even started yet. We're not even in the new league year. The new league year ain't even until Wednesday. But we've already had so much craziness going on in the past couple of days. Russell Wilson to the Broncos. Aaron Rodgers finally got all that drama put in the past. Thank goodness he just made his decision. I can't even say early because he, he trolled everybody a couple weeks ago when he was on Pat McAfee's show. It was like, oh, I'm not making a decision yet. It's like, oh, come on, man. Just, just get it over. Anyway. Um, Drew Locke to the Seahawks, okay, Seahawks upgraded with Drew Locke, nah, I'm playing, but, um, yeah, so it's, it's been crazy, of course, uh, Khalil Mack to the Chargers, um, and now Mari Cooper, uh, to the Browns, and I, I would have to feel like Deshaun Watson, he's getting ready to be up next whenever that does happen, uh, so we will continue to be on the lookout for whatever goes down, I love y'all team, keep it clean, I appreciate y'all, make sure you subscribe, we got videos every single day, and, 
turn your notifications on because come free agency, ooh, come free agency, the video is going to be going crazy because, you know, NFL, they always stay crazy, but free agency, yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot. You're probably going to get tired of seeing my face and hear my voice if you're not tired of it already. And even if you are tired of it, I still love you. Team, keep it clean. Just like Amari Cooper is when it comes to being with the Cowboys, I'm out.